Hello, welcome back. The title here is called The Pythagorean Theorem in the Coordinate Plane. This is part one. So you're going to find out that as we start to use this Pythagorean Theorem, it has more applications than kind of like the initial kind of problems that we talked about. You can actually set up a grid uh, and use the grid to measure distances and then use those distances to find other distances using the Pythagorean Theorem. You can think of an archaeological dig having a grid, right? Or a better example would be like the map of a city, like a newly planned city might have a city hall and then you have blocks, you know, and everything's per perpendicular and the, nice, the streets are not curvy, they're very straight and that kind of thing. And you can imagine measuring the positions of all of the, the uh, buildings in the city on that grid and then you can find the distances between them. So let's take a look at that. The coordinate plane serves as a map of the city with City Hall as the center of the map. The units shown are in kilometers. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance from the school, S, to the grocery store, G. So you can see here is a grid of the city, right? And in the center, we have City Hall, that's CH, right? And we have streets going this way, so we have blocks going up and, and, and sideways and things like this. But you can imagine this being like an XY plane. You can label this X and you can label this Y. So we're trying to find the distance from the school, which is here, to the grocery store. Now this is a slanted distance. It's not a going up and down the block. This, this would be like a bird flying directly from uh, the school to the grocery store. How far is that distance? Well, you really can't figure it out other than to calculate it or to measure it. If you've got a ruler, I guess you could measure it. Um, but we can calculate it because we can make a triangle out of this uh, situation here. So let's go ahead and draw that triangle to make sure we understand. The school to the grocery store, this distance is what we're trying to find, and then these are the other two sides of the triangle. Now you might say, I'm not given those distances, but you really are because you're, everything is on a grid. So if you want to say that the, or actually says in the problem statement, it says uh, si uh, City Hall is the center, the units shown are in kilometers, right? So it might be like, uh, here's City Hall, and then this is one kilometer to the left or west, and this is two kilometers west, one kilometer east, one kilometer north, one kilometer south, something like this. Then the grid that you have would make sense. Or you might think of these being city blocks. So it would be like one block, two blocks, three blocks up, or whatever. Whatever units you're dealing with. So how do we figure what, out what this is? Well, first of all, it's important for you to know that anytime you draw a triangle on a grid like this, you have a right angle in the corner. And so this is the hypotenuse. And we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And we're going to call this a and b. What are the distances? Well, I just count them. I start here and I say, I could put the points. I could put the x, y points if I, if I wanted to, but I don't need to. I could just count one, two, three, four distance units down for a, so four squared. And then starting here, one, two, three distance units in this direction, like this. And that has to equal c squared because this is the other side of the triangle. And then I know that 4 times 4 is 16 and I know that 3 times 3 is 9. And if I flip it around and put c squared here, then the 16 and the 9 is 25. And how do I get rid of this? Well, I say c squared is equal to 25. So if I want to get rid of this square, I have to do the opposite, the square root. And if I'm adding my own radical, I have to insert my own plus or minus. The square root cancels with the square, leaving behind the distance c. The square root of 25 is 5. And of course, there's no such thing as a negative distance, so I'm going to throw away the negative distance and say it's positive 5. Now, we said the distance units in this was measuring measured in kilometers, so this is going to be 5 kilometers. And that's an exact answer. So what this means is that if the map were laid out the way it is, so that City Hall were in the center, right? And then if you could go like two kilometers to the west and then three kilometers north to get to the grocery store, right? And then from City Hall, one kilometer to the east, to the right, and one kilometer down was the grocery store. If that grid system was how you defined it in terms of kilometers, then the straight line distance from here to here is given by the Pythagorean theorem and works out to be exactly five kilometers. Now this makes sense because remember one of the special triangles for the Pythagorean theorem is three, four, five, right? So you have uh, three, four, and then five. So we probably could have guessed, you know, before calculating, but it, you know, it's good to do the full calculation. All right, let's take this one down and do our next problem. 
All right, problem number two. Again, coordinate plane, map of the city, kilometers, all that stuff is the same. We're going to find the distance between the police department, P, and the fire department, F. So P to F. So P is right here and F is right here. <clears throat> so we have to figure out some kind of right triangle. Now there are, you know, there are multiple triangles. I could draw one like this if I wish, or I could go the other direction like this. It's going to give the same answer. So let's just draw between P and F the triangle that makes the most sense like this. Notice it's always a right triangle and a grid like this. So here we have the hypotenuse C. That's what we're trying to find in red. These other two sides will be A and B. I could put the coordinates of the points, but it doesn't matter. I can just count them right off of the page here. So we know that A squared plus B squared has to equal C squared. And A and B are these sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 squared, plus B, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 squared. And C is what I'm trying to find, so I put C squared right there. So here I have 16, and then I have 16, and when I flip this around, I get C squared is equal to 32. So I need to solve this. C squared is 32. Now, how do I get rid of that square? On the C, I have to do the opposite square root. So I have to take the square root and add that plus or minus n. Cancellation will happen, and the distance C will be whatever the square root of 32 is. Now, how do we figure out what that is? That's the trick, right? So I don't know what that is. That's, that's not a perfect square. So you need to break it into something simpler. So I know that 8 times 4 is 32, and I know that 8 is 2 times 4. Now I could break these 4s apart, but it doesn't, it won't change anything. I'll still get the same answer because I see a pair of 4s and I can immediately circle any pair I see in the bottom of the tree. If I break these apart into 2s and pull out those 2s and multiply them, I'm going to get the same thing. So a single 4 will come outside and the square root of 2 will let be left behind. So I'll have 4 times the square root of 2. We're going to throw away the negative answer. It doesn't make sense. And so the answer is 4 times the square root of 2. Now, if you take the square root of 2 and put it in the calculator, uh, and you get 1.41, multiply that by 4, you'll get 5.66, roughly, kilometers. Of course, you have to round it. If you put 32 in the calculator and take the square root, you'll get the same thing. So these two are just different ways of writing the same thing. 4 times the square root of 2, and you're talking about kilometers here, or, or roughly 5.66 kilometers. Now this also makes sense because we know that 5 times 5 is 25, and we know that 6 times 6 is 36. So since we're trying to find the square root of 32, which is right in the middle of that range, it makes sense that the answer would be between 5 and 6, which is what we found. Let me take this down and we'll do our next problem. All right, here is our last problem. Same story with the kilometers and the map. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance from the library L to the city hall. So the library is here. The city hall is here. The city hall is at the very center of town, and the library is diagonally uh, uh, down this direction. So let's draw a picture of what we're trying to actually find. We're trying to find this distance here, so we're going to form a triangle out of it. And of course, this is a 90 degree angle, so it's a right triangle. And so that means this is the hypotenuse C. And we uh, can then write that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now, usually I say A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but you know you can flip things around. We're just going to write it like this from now on since we're solving for the distance C. So C squared is A, which is one side of the triangle. This is one, two distance units, two kilometers. So two squared. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 squared. So what do we have here? 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 is uh, 16. And so c squared is going to be equal to 20. Now, we don't want c squared. We want to figure out what c is equal to. So how do we do that? We have to do the opposite of whatever we've done here, which is squaring. So we're going to do the square root, and we're going to do it to both sides, and we have to add the plus minus. So we're left with C is equal to, we're going to throw away the negative answer, we're going to get the positive answer, square root of 20. How do we take the square root of 20? Well, we can write this as 4 times 5 is 20. The 4 we can write is 2 times 2. And we have a pair right here, so it comes out as the single 2 comes out, square root of 5 is left behind. So we have 2 times the square root of 5, and the units here were all in kilometers, so that's what we're going to have left behind. And that's basically the answer, and we can also write that in terms of a decimal, and that works out to 
0.47 kilometers. Of course, this is a rounded number. If you take the square root of 20, you'll get this. If you take the square root of 5 and then multiply it by 2, you'll also get the same thing. All right, so we could do more of these, but in the in the uh, interest of moving on, I think we've done enough problems. You know, the idea is <clears throat> that using a grid system, we can find straight line distances across, you know, the grids. So even if you're not, you know, if you're not sure how to do that, then the only way to really do it without math is to get like an actual rope or something and measure it. And that's not practical when you have buildings in the way, right? But now we know a very powerful tool that we can use to measure things, uh, you know, whenever it's not so convenient to walk down the blocks. You know, we measure one side of the triangle, the other side of the triangle, and we calculate the third side. So practice these yourself. Make sure you understand and follow me on to part two. We'll have a different map and a different grid, but we'll have a few more problems involving the Pythagorean theorem on an XY coordinate plane.